back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another toy hunt for you guys. Going to be hitting up a couple stores here today. Very excited. My boy Jonathan said that he went to the Walmart the other day and they had some AEW figures. They had some new elites and stuff like that. So we are going to check that out. Hopefully that will be the case. They'll still be there. Probably going to hit up my local Walmart, my local Target. My Walmart that's closer to my house like, I don't know what it is. It says that they have AEW in stock, but every time I go by there, they're not out there. And it still says they're in stock. So I guess we're just waiting for them to put them out. I don't know if it's going to be Series 4, Series 5, Series 6. I don't know. I just hope to find a Chase figure. And am I going to find a Chase? Who knows? I'm feeling confident in it. Every time I walk up on some AEW figures, I expect a Chase figure. Hasn't happened yet, but I'm expecting it, man. I'm clinging to that. I'm claiming that. And I will get my hands on a Chase AEW figure, man. That's one of my goals before the end of the year. Not like uh, just buy one online i could easily just go online and buy any of them if i wanted to just it's spur of the moment thing but i want to find it in the store that's what makes it fun that's what makes hunting these things fun i really want to find that chase darby from the unmatched series i think it'd be cool to find the Britt baker i think it'd be amazing to find any of series four five or six of the chases that would be incredible as well but who knows man let's see if we can find some awesome figures on this toy hunt today let's go ahead get in the car and make our way to our first store we're going to hit up my other walmart that's kind of across town and then we're going to go to the target that's right there because you you never know, you know, you gotta, you gotta be safe there since they're kind of close to each other. And I know my local Walmart, all they have is Elite 86 that I bought all for Rollins and they haven't moved much since. But let's go ahead and get on the toy hunt, man. I will see you guys at the first shop. All right, guys, I have just arrived at the Walmart. We're going to walk in here, see what we got. My boy John said that he found AEW Series number five, I think, the other day. And also, I think they got, I think they have a bunch of Elite Series 86 with the SummerSlam. So we're going to walk in here, see what we got. And I'll see you guys when we get on the aisle. Hopefully, we don't bust, but uh, let's find out. All right, guys, here we go, and we still have AEW Series number five. We got Luchasaurus in the house, absolutely beautiful specimen of a figure. I'm going to lay that over here. I think I'm definitely going to grab that. We do have Scorpio Sky and Frankie Kazarian, two of Kazarian. Of course, we have Jungle Boy, but two Scorpio Sky right there with the tag title. Somebody could cash in on that. Elite 86 Carmella, Elite 86 The Fiend, tons of Elite 86, honestly. like There's like five of these Rollins, I think. You got Sid Justice, Roman Reigns. The Miz in the house, little top picks, Rey Mysterio action back there. Austin Theory, first time in the line. I've wanted to pick this up. I might grab this one since I found it at retail. We got Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins Battle Pack, a couple AJs and Matt Riddles back there as well. Tons of motorcycles. We got top picks basics. Look at the, the just Rollins is, is rotten on the shelves, man. Got to buy all those out, but we got more basics over here. Not, not too much going on with the basic figures. You got top picks. Finn Balor, Jeff Hardy, we got Ivar and uh, the Viking Raiders there. You got some more Jeff Hardys at the top there. Not a great basic collection. You know, you got Austin Theory and stuff, but the top pick stuff is just kind of eh. Tons of Seth Rollins, man. Like, I can't believe there's like literally five Seth Rollins. I counted five Elite 86 Seth Rollins. That's ridiculous. But Scorpio Sky and the Frankie Kazarian are looking good. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab Jurassic Express since, you know, you can't grab one without the other, but... Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus look great. Triple H back there. Got two of those. No chase this time at this location. My other Walmart did have one. AEW basic ring. And that pretty much wraps it up, man. Tons of stuff, though. Like, this is a huge selection. If you break down everything, you got the elites. You got the basics, battle packs, AEW. This is the way it should look. The only thing that's missing is some unmatched figures, maybe some ultimates. But this is pretty good for a Walmart selection, I would say, especially for this area. Drew McIntyre and John Cena missing from action, but we do have Ray and Roman. But not a bad selection, man. I'm pretty shocked at this. All right, guys, store number two. We are at the local Target over here, and Walmart was a success, Brad. Walmart was a success. They had tons of great stuff. I did go ahead and grab the Luchasaurus, the Jungle Boy, and the Austin Theory. Very excited for those pickups. We are going to go in here. I think Jonathan told me that they have some AEW Series 4 in here. I don't know if I want to grab these or if I want to sit on them. I'm just going to go in there, show you guys what they have. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll just know when we go in there, guys, so I'll see you guys when we get in the store. All right, guys, here at Target, we do have more AEW, man. We got AEW Unravel Collection Series number four, Matt Hardy in the house. I believe him and the Proud and Powerful with Santana and Ortiz are the only ones I don't have mocked from this set. If you want to check out the Elites real quick before we get into it, they still have the Rotten Chinas. You got the top picks, Roman, John Cena, Drew McIntyre. Not much else outside of these AEW figures, honestly. But, uh, yeah, same basics as the as the Walmart and stuff. But Ortiz, Matt Hardy, we have uh, Sammy Guevara, Austin Theory, basic over there as well. Uh, this is the same exact basic series that they had over there. This Roman's, like, stuck on the John Brown peg. I don't know what's up with it. It won't come off. But 
All Drew McIntyre's back there. A uh, little Mulan thing down there. Uh, you got Santana Ortiz. Cody is another figure that I, I wanted to grab, but then I was like, eh, you know, I, I want to grab more of those, but, you know, it is what it is. But AEW Series number four, not bad right there, man. I wish they had a chase or something like that, but you got Guevara in the house. This is the other half of it. It's the Inner Circle version, not the Hit Me Up version. And you look at the two-tone torso, man. Jesus. But, I mean, at least we found some more AEW. I'm not going to grab any of them. I'm going to leave that to the rest of the collectors to pick up. All right, guys, we are back home after the toy hunt. We got the goods right here, and we're going to go ahead and break those down. Did not expect to find what we found today. That Walmart was absolutely stacked. I have not seen a Walmart like that in a little while, at least in my hometown, man. Again, that's the one that's across town. It's not that far, but it is not, it's not the one that's close to me, but that is pretty insane. I don't think, the last time I've seen a Walmart that stacked, it's it's been quite a minute, but it's weird because it seems like figures used to kind of rot on shelves, but, I mean, they still will if they they're, you know, if they're kind of shelf warmers, but it seemed to be that, like, all figures would rot on shelves, and nowadays, it's like, once they're there, man, they're gone the next day if they're worth a ish. Let's go ahead and get into what we got. The first figure that we did grab, guys, is going to be the Series 5 Luchasaurus. Now, I will say, I didn't really know if I wanted to grab another one of these. It's pretty good mock condition. It's got a little bit of a bend there and whatever. I already have a mock Luchasaurus back here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I already have a mock Luchasaurus, and I don't know. I have the Ringside Exclusive mock. I have the Series 5 mock. I have the Series 5 loose, and I have the Ringside Exclusive loose, but I don't know if I want to open this one or if I want to keep this one mock. I have, like, a bunch of copies of mock AEW figures but i don't know if i want to keep this one mock or not it's in pretty good condition i could if i guess if i wanted to but i don't know i love luchasaurus i kind of want more copies of his figures for customs and just kind of fixing things up so we'll see about that i don't know we'll play around with it we'll just get into it but outside of luchasaurus guys we also grabbed jungle boys so i wanted both partners there you know i wasn't going to leave one of them at the store and not get the other one but jungle boys looking good right here jungle boys actually right behind here on the mdt live shelf so here's my loose version i do have another mock version of this but seeing it on the shelves i'm just not going to pay if i ever find these guys at retail like that i'm not gonna pass on them because um you know fast forward in the future you know me figures i skipped out on defining moments hulk hogan i skipped out on so many times it used to shelf warm there's so many figures that i passed up on in the past at retail and i would just be like eh well why, why do i need them it's just 20 dollars at that moment man just take the 20 dollars because in the future it could be worth 80 100 or you know you may need that figure and you've just passed on it you just walked away from it so jurassic express can never go wrong with multiple copies of these this mock is actually pretty solid shape as well so we'll take that i'm not gonna you know that's pretty good right there i can i can live with that and then this figure right here the austin theory was actually hidden first time in the line austin theory it's all beat to hell i was gonna open it anyways however and i'm not an austin theory guy but you know got good knee pads on there good crowd member right here and i could probably convert him into an elite figure pretty easily so we got the austin theory figure again not a big fan of austin theory however uh you know just a nice little basic it's kind of like it's like the figure's crooked or something like look at this he's facing straight ahead but his leg is like off to the side i don't know what's going on with that i don't know if you guys can tell probably not from this angle i'll have to show you in another video maybe but got the austin theory pretty cool i always said i would probably grab it at retail i wasn't going to order it online but grabbing it at retail you know nine ten bucks right there you might as well just go ahead and take it don't even have room for any of these figures to be honest with you speaking of which the ultimate edition arena did make cut man it made cut we actually made it to the 5,000 backers we crushed it actually or at least at the time of recording it's about 5,400 and still climbing at the day i'm recording this it's actually the last day you can get the macho man so if you're seeing this on saturday it's too late to get macho man but you may you, you, there's still time remaining to get the other things unless they come out and say you know we're gonna just add macho man whatever today's the last day to get macho man unless they've came out and again announced something different but that pretty much wraps up our toy hunt man pretty good toy hunt i enjoyed it i hope you guys did as well just seeing aew figures on the shelf makes me happy man i didn't grab scorpio sky or frankie kazarian just didn't have a real usage for them but anyways guys that is going to wrap up today's video let's go ahead and get into a random shout out and this shout out is going to go to kuji nakamura who says we need more my damn story in the future it's just damn epic so if you guys would like more my damn story time let me know down in the comment section below i think it'll kind of depend on how well that video does but if you guys missed my if you guys missed my video on the time that me and my brother met the undertaker definitely go check it out man great story it's a family it's a family deal at this point it's literally a family inside joke so you definitely gotta go get in on that man go check out the undertaker story time but a huge shout out to nakamura for the comment man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy the toy hunt i'm getting out of here thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram tiktok and twitter at my damn toys and i'll see you guys in the next video 
Don't cross the line like the Underfaker. You cross the line, I've been